All right, guys. So let's start with Quant. Uh, the first question is about Manchester United defeats Liverpool throughout the match. How many ways? So we have permutations and combinations. Let's just move on to the next question. Uh, this is a race. This is time and distance. Runs clockwise, anti-clockwise. Um, 33. So this is how many times they meet him, which is another tricky part. So let's go to the next one. Um, this seems like an easier one. Even number x greater than or equal to 4. Now, a is x square plus 2x. Now, let's just substitute x is greater than or equal to 4. So, let's assume x is uh, 4. So, right. So, a would be x square, 4 square, 16, plus 2 for the 8, which is equal to 24, right? Largest number that will always write 2 times a square. So, 2 times a square is 24 square minus uh, 8 into 24, right? Which is, again, 2 times 24 square is 576 minus 8 for the 32. 8 to 16, 17, 18, 19, 192. Right? So 6 minus 2 is 4. 7 minus 9 is uh, 8. 5, 4, 4, 1, 3. And to 2 is 2 plus 8, 2 plus 16, 2 plus 7. So we have 768. Now the largest number that will always divide 768 is 768. So our answer is 768. So then move on to the next. Um, This seems like a profit and loss question, right? <clears throat> Let's go with it. Um. So there's a business, Sita and Dita, right? So they have given us what they distribute. Sita receives 120 per month from the profit. After deducting 120, it's divided equally. Sita also receives this as a marketing fee at the end of the year. So they're asking us for the yearly profit here. So let's assume a yearly profit to be P, right? So what does Sita get? Sita um, gets, Sita receives 120 per month. So 120 into 12, Right, which is 1440, we know that. Plus, she receives after deducting, it is further equally divided. So, P minus 1440 by 2, she receives. And then she gives Gita 2250. So, this is Sita's earning. Gita's is what? P minus 1440 upon 2 plus the 2250 that Sita gives her. The giving um, Sita's income is half of Gita's. So, half of Gita's is equal to Sita's. So let's just put our values here. Uh, we have 1440 plus P minus 1440 by 2 minus 2250 equals half of P minus 1440 by 2 plus 2250. So 1440 minus 2250, basically let's subtract this from this. We have 0, minus 41, 12, minus 48. That's it, minus 810. P minus 1440 by 2 is equal to half of uh, half 2. We'll just multiply this by 2 here. 2 goes there. P minus 1440 by 2 plus 2250. So P minus 1440 minus 810, 1620. Mm, P by 2 minus 1440 by 2 is 720 plus 2250. So P minus 2 is equal to 720, 2250, um, 150, 150, 40, 904, 4590, 4590, yes. So P would be, yearly profit would be 9180, right? So answer is 9180. Great. So, um, this is our uh, five children. Gifts for Rav. She gets confused. None of the gifts. So, this is our basic derangement question. Now, we know the formula for derangement. We'll just directly apply it. The formula for derangement is, it's for five people. So, we'll have five factorial here. One minus one upon one factorial plus one by two factorial minus one by three factorial plus one by four factorial minus one by five factorial. Right? So 5 factorial we know is 120. 1 minus 1 by 1 factorial gets cancelled. 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 to the 6 plus 1 by 24 minus 1 by 5 factorial is 120 again. So 120, LCM is 120. 2, we have 60 here. 6, 20 here. Plus 24, 5 is a minus 1, right? 
these get cancelled. So what we have here, 60 minus 20 is 40, 40 plus 5, 45, minus 1, 44. Our answer is 44, right? Moving on to the next question. Common positive root. This is something that we can do. So let's just go on with it. Um, x square minus 36x plus 299. Is the equation satisfied by the other two roots? So a and b have a common positive root. And this equation here gives us the other two roots of these equations. So these, let's just find out the roots of this equation. x square minus 36x plus 299. So 299, let's just see what does it get divided by 7, 7. Does not get divided by 3 or 9, 7, 4 is a triangle, no. 13, 13, 2 is a 26. Yes, 13 divides it. So 299, we have 13. What do we have? 13, 2 is a 26, 33. Both prime numbers. So we have x square minus 13x minus 23x plus 299 is 0. Roots, what do we have? 13 and 23, we have the roots. So the roots of these equations, they have one common positive root. The other two roots are these. So what are the roots? X and 13 for A, X and 23 for B. One common root and 13 and 23. So we know the sum of the product of the roots of equation. Sum of the product, kya hua? Product is 13X plus 23X. This is sum of the products. Is less than the product of the sum. Product of sum kya hua? Uh, x plus 13, x plus 23, less by 324. So what do we have here? 13, 23, 36x is x square plus 36x plus again 299 minus 324. Let's cancel. x square is equal to 299 minus 324. 25x is what? Plus minus 5, but again it is plus 5 because they say common positive root. So they're asking for the common positive root. We'll just enter it. It is 5. Moving on. Um, one red coffee in the morning. Let's leave it for the end. P is term of an AP. K is term of an AP. Fine. Let's try this. P is term of an AP is K. So assuming the AP has A and DLs, first term and common difference. So, pth term would be a plus p minus 1 into d is equal to k and kth term is p. a plus k minus 1 into d is p. Right. So, we can clearly see how we can subtract. Yeah, we can subtract these terms, right? So, we have uh, a, a will get cancelled. So, then we get k minus p is equal to pd minus d minus kd plus d again d gets cancelled so we have k minus p is equal to p minus k times d so d is minus one right k minus p upon p minus k is minus one so we have the term we want the seventh term if a plus p minus one into minus one from this equation is equal to k right so a is equal to k plus p minus 1, right, plus p minus 1, yeah. A is k plus p minus 1, they're asking for the seventh term. Seventh term will have a, which is k plus p minus 1, plus 7 times into, 6 times into minus 1, right, a minus, uh, n minus 1 day. We have k plus p minus 1 minus 6 minus 7. k plus p minus 7, we have the second option here, right. So, moving on to the next one. Let's see the next. Um, this is what time and works. This is how to follow rules. Next amount of work. This is going to take us some time. So, let's just leave it for later, okay? Um, the occasion of Teacher's Day. Manoj decided to distribute a few things amongst. So, he had 14 pencils and 22 pens. And he wanted to ensure that each student gets something. Fine. But any student gets more than two pens cannot get more than one pencil. And anyone who gets more than one pencil cannot get more than three pens. So if these conditions are to be considered, what are the maximum number of pens that a student can possibly get? Maximum number of pens. So what are the conditions we have with respect to pen here? One pencil, not more than three pens, right? And more than two pens cannot get more than one pencil. So here, let's assume 
22 pens all of them are given to one student right to one student cannot get more than one pencil even if we get one pencil to this person we have 13 pencils left for the rest of the nine students maximum number of pens that one student can get are 22 this was an easy one this was a sit up so uh this is something related to geometry now the edges of a semicircular path right fine let's attempt this one this is a semicircular path right she's here she wants to go here right she starts flying towards the other other end of the semicircular path assuming this radius is r so obviously it will take her longer to travel through the semicircular path right so what is the path that she's traveling here that is half the circumference so that is not 2 pi r that is just pi r right now her speed is 90 meters a minute so assuming speed is 90 this is a distance so time is distance upon speed and the other time would be this distance 2 r by 90 these are two times that we get they're saying she will take four minutes less so minus four would be equal to this right so we have pi r by 90 taking 90 as the lcm we get four nines are 360 is equal to 2r by 90 90 gets cancelled so we have a uh, pi r minus 2r is equal to 360 right uh use pi is 22 by 7 minus 2 into r is equal to 360 7 this becomes 14 14 22 8 by 7 r is 360 8 4 2 sir right hmm just a second have i done a mistake here right 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 so this is a 14 let's just come back to it at the end right when you spend so much time on a question and you cannot come up with anything best to leave it for later uh Linear track after day. All right, this is an easy one. So we have a linear track. We have Pooja and Rhea coming from each side, right? So they take 64 and 40. Pooja takes 64 seconds to get here, and 100 seconds Rhea takes to get here, right? This is after meeting. So what do we know about the time of meeting, which is the t? t is equal to root of 64 into 100. That is a given formula. This is what you have to remember. So what is t now, which is 8 into 10, 80 seconds is when they meet. Now we have another scenario, Pooja and Shilpa also run towards each other on the same track, right? So we have Pooja and Shilpa also run on the same track. Pooja takes 96 seconds to reach the other end, calculate the time taken by Shilpa. So we have, uh, how long does Pooja actually take to cover the entire track? We have 80 seconds here, we have 64 seconds here. 80 plus 64, we have Pooja takes one, uh, 44 seconds. Now 96 seconds it takes her to reach from this point to the other end while running against Shilpa. So 96, 14, 6, 8, 4, 3, 4. So we have 48 seconds she takes here, right? And... right right so we have 48 seconds here so what do we know now root of 96 into x is equal to 48 right 96 into x is equal to 48 into 48 so we have 2x is 24 right x is 24 seconds 24 seconds is the t at which they meet so how long does shilpa take she takes 24 seconds plus the 48 seconds at which they meet, which is what? 72 seconds, right? So our answer here is 72. Right. Uh, so this is basic root. Zero is less than k is less than one. The roots of the equation x square plus k plus one x minus two k. So we have this range. This will be equal for, uh, this will be same for every number in the range. Best method is substituting. Let's assume k is 1 by 2. Equation becomes x square plus 1 by 2 plus 1 is 3 by 2x minus 2k 2 into 1 by 2 is 1, right? Equals 0. 
have two x square plus three x minus two is zero. Right? Two two is a four. What do we have here? Two x square plus two is a four plus four x minus x minus two. Right? Two x x plus two minus one x plus two. So the roots here minus two and one by two. So what does it tell us about the roots? They are real and opposite in nature. Right. So okay again. Hundred units of each pencil, eraser, sharpener, pen, and ruler. Right. So we have this. Hundred hundred units of each. Right. So what do we have? We have five hundred units in total. In the ratio six. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have six x here, seven x here, eight x here, nine x here, and ten x here. So he realized now he ended up buying fifty six percent of what was available. Now what is this entire total? Ten x, nine x, nineteen, nineteen plus eight, twenty seven, twenty seven, fifty four, sixty. Sixty x is what he bought in total. He ended up buying fifty six percent of what was available. So what the what does it tell us? Sixty x is equal to fifty six by hundred into five hundred. Right. Mm. Right. Uh, ten, nine, nineteen plus eight, twenty-seven, thirty-four, forty. Okay, this is the calculation. Now this is forty x, right? Forty x. So what do we have here? We have this x is fifty-six by forty. Just a second. Uh huh. I think we're doing a calculation error here. Let's go again. Six x, seven x, eight, nine, and ten. Right? Nine, eight, seventeen, twenty-four, thirty. So we have forty x is what he bought, right? And that is equal to fifty-six percent of five hundred. So we are completely eliminating the five, right? So what does this have? What does this give you? Um, five. Eights are forty. Eight sevens are fifty-six. So x is seven. First item he bought six sevens of forty two, seven sevens of forty nine, eight sevens of fifty six, nine sevens of sixty three, and ten sevens of seventy. So which items did he buy more than sixty? Since all are hundred in number, more than sixty would sixty percent would be more than sixty. We have only two items that he bought more than sixty. Our answer is two here. Right. So um, right. So. S by log two is S by two. Two log S is S log two, right? So basically, using log for a uh, general uh, formula, S square is equal to two to the power S. Makes sense. S to the power two is equal to two to the power S. Now we know there are only two numbers that satisfy satisfy this uh, condition, which are two and four, right? So what is the value of S? The value of S. Cannot be determined. Right, this is a uh, compound interest. These are a little tougher to crack, so we'll just move on to the next one. Seventeen. Right, this is inequality. This is easier to do. So we have minus a square plus six a minus eight greater than zero. These are sitters. Always attempt these. Changing the sign, multiplying the entire thing by minus, we have a square. Minus six a plus eight is less than zero. Makes sense. So breaking it down, a square four minus four a minus two a plus eight is less than zero. A minus four. A minus two, right? Less than zero. So we have two here on the number line. Plus minus plus. Since we have less than, this is our range. So two is less than a is less than four is our answer. Okay, this is basic arithmetic. Fine. So we have ten percent scratch uh, guards will be faulty. Thirteen thousand five hundred he produces. Price at ten each, including he expects profit, including this uh, faulty. So what does this mean? Is that out of thirteen thousand five hundred, the proper uh, cost uh. Scratch cards will give him twenty five percent profit, even including the cost for the faulty ones. Right. So let's try to identify the number of proper thirteen thousand five hundred into 
zero point nine, right? So nine nine five is a forty five, nine is a twenty seven. One two one five zero is the number of proper scratch cards that we get. Price is rupees ten each, so the revenue that he gets is into ten, right? Is equal to still twenty five percent, so which is equal to one point two five times the cost price. Cost price is what we are trying to find. Assume it's x into thirteen thousand five hundred. Very basic formula. One twenty five by hundred. Let's just go with it, right? So one thirty five into one twenty five into x is equal to one two one five zero into ten, right? Divide by twenty five. Five is one twenty five. Twenty five four is a hundred, right? Eight is a two hundred. Six five two is a ten. X is equal to four eighty six into two by one thirty five. This is where we will use our calculator. We have four eighty six into two divided by one three five. That is our answer, seven point two, right? Which is clearly our answer here. Seven point two is our answer. Right. Another easy one. Circle is inscri inscribed within an isosceles trapezium. This right here is an isosceles trapezium. Circle touches all four sides. Pardon for the drawing, but okay. Parallel sides measure thirty-two. So this size for you is thirty-two. This is eighteen, right? Radius of the circle. So we'll just use basic properties of this. We know this is eighteen. Thirty-two minus eighteen is what? Fourteen. So we have this is seven and seven. Now we know the properties that this will touch the center. So this is nine. This is nine. What else do we know? A point projecting will project projecting on a circle will project equal lengths. This is nine. If this is thirty-two, this is sixteen. This is sixteen. These lengths are sixteen and sixteen. So this is also going to be sixteen. Considering this triangle right here, we know this is seven. We know this is sixteen. What will this be? Sixteen square minus seven square. Sixteen square is what? Six, six, thirty six, six, twelve, fifteen. See fifty six. Let's just. I'm bad at calculations. So let's just confirm it once. Sixteen into sixteen, right? Two fifty six. Yeah. So two fifty six minus forty nine. Seven. That doesn't seem right, right? Sixteen square. Oh, we don't have sixteen square. Sixteen plus nine. It is twenty-five square, right? Twenty-five square is six twenty-five. Six twenty-five minus forty-nine. Nine. Six. That's wrong. Seven. Five seventy-six. We know this is what twenty-four. So our answer is twenty-four. Guys, be aware of these small mistakes. Um. Okay. First time we was given number one, second was two, so on. Madhula was asked to calculate some of the numbers given to all attendees. Sum of all the numbers, right? So we are talking about n, n plus one by two. Sum of all natural numbers to number n. She adds a number twice, so her final result was two thousand. In such situations, we look for the closest sum, which is below two thousand, because she's added a number twice, right? So let's just uh, start with fifty. Fifty into fifty plus one by two, twenty-five. Twenty-five into twenty-five is one twenty-five. One twenty-seven. No, we're far off. Sixty. Sixty into sixty-one by two, thirty. Three into three, three six eighteen. So we're we'll far. Sixty-two. Sixty-three by two, thirty-one. Sixty-three into thirty-one is three six nine fifteen. Six eighteen. This is eighteen, nineteen, nineteen fifty. This is our number, right? Because we go farther from here, we don't get sixty. A uh, number greater than sixty, right? So two thousand minus one nine five three is what forty seven. So this is the number that she added twice, and some of these numbers is nineteen fifty three, right? So we have sixty three. No, forty seven. Oh, 
okay so we have 1.5 length and length okay so this is one thing is melted to make another we have no issues testing those okay so cylindrical rubber strips of diameter 1.5 and length 80 meter is melted so what is its volume volume is pi r square h right pi into 1.5 by 2 into 1.5 by 2 into 80 which is equal to the new 4 by 3 pi r cube right pi gets cancelled here we have 4 by 3 15 by 20 into 15 by 20 into 80 into 3 by 4 right 3 4 3 4 3 4 4 20 4 5 Again, we're doing a mistake here. Uh, we have 15 centimeter, right? So 1.5 by pi into 1.5 by 2. Here we have into 1.5 by 2 into 80 into 100 is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube. Pi gets cancelled here. So we have 15 by 20, 15 by 20 into 3 by 4. This gets cancelled, right? This is again 3 by 4. This is again 3 by 4. This is our entire cube, right? So 8000. Let's just cube root it right now. 3 cube root of 8000 into 3 by 4 ka cube. This comes out 3 by 4 into this is what cube? This is 20 cube. So we have 4 fives are 20, 3 fives are 15. Our answer is 15. Our R is 15. R is the radius of the new ball. Okay, this is a toughie. Let's just skip to the next one. All right, so this is a basic question from uh, arithmetic again. Four rounds of fire. Radius the hour ahead. Yeah, four rounds of fire. The cost of the wire. Caution curve. Very easy. Um, radius the hour. What is the circumference? Circumference is two into twenty-two by seven into eighteen point two meter. He uses four rounds of wire. He uses four rounds. So he does it four times. Into this is our total length required in meters. We need 75 per meter. So what do we have here? 10 times 7. 2s are 14. 6 are 42. Um, 75 into 2 is 150. This goes here again. We'll open a calculator. What do we have here? 22 into 26 into 4 into 15, right? We have 34320 clearly. 34320 is our answer. Siblings, the ailing father wrote a will, distributed 9000 to kids. There's three siblings Ritesh to Naresh to Pramod, right? So Ritesh to Naresh is 1 is to 3. Naresh to Pramod is 1 is to 2. Now we multiply this by 3 to get an even ratio, like basically LCM. So we get 1 is to 3 is to 2, 3 is our 6. This is the ratio. Total money is what? x, 3x, 6x. Total is 10x. This is the total amount of money. Considering these ratios, 9000 is the total amount of money. Uh, it goes in the ratio. In, it goes in 10 parts, right? So upon 10 is 900. 10x equals 900 basically. So this is our x. 900 is x. So Ritesh gets 900, 900 to 3, and 900 to 6. What is it asking? Ritesh got, Ritesh clearly gets 900, right? Um, all right. So we have ST and SU. This is our triangle, right? Assuming this angle S T U, this is S, this is U, this is T. If this is 60 degrees, what does it tell you? All sides are equal, equilateral triangle, because it is already given that these are the same, right? So if this becomes 60, these are already 60, all sides become same. So what does it tell us? S is equal to U is equal to T. Now again, if this is 90, what does it happen? This side, when these two are equal, S is equal to root 2, 
root 2 into u, right? So, just a second, point below, our options are, right? So, this gives us u is less than s, less than u root 2, the largest length that can be if the uh, opposing angle is, if angle s is either 60 or between 60 and 90 and 90, right? So, the largest length can be if they're all equal. The smallest length is when the angle is 90. So this is our answer. We don't have to submit just yet. Let's go back to our questions that we left, right? It's quite a few of them. Um, again, I'm going to skip this one. I'm going to move on to the next one. Right, this is doable. It'll take time. So coffee in the morning ratio of milk and water is 5 is to 3 we have 8 ratio now let's just assume this is a tumbler which has the coffee assume it has 800 milliliters of the solution right so 5 is to 3 so what do we have milk and water water so we have uh, 500 of milk and 300 of water if y percent of this mixture is removed now y percent of 800 would be what 8y. 8y is removed. So we have will be uh, the concentration of milk in the revised solution will be 30% to 50%. Now what part of this 8y will be milk? 8y into 5 by uh, 8, right? It already is in the ratio of 5 is to 3. So it is 5 by 8 of the entire solution. So we have 5y of milk gone, right? And replaced with water. So the updated um, concentration of milk would be 500 minus 5y right upon 800 now this concentration lies between 0 0.3 and 0 0.5 right so we'll have the range of y here uh 3 are 24 so we have 240 is less than 500 minus 5y is less than 400 right Subtracting 500 on both sides, we get what? Uh, minus 260 is less than minus 5y is less than minus 100. Reversing the entire sign, we get 260 is, is greater than 5y, greater than 100. Uh, divide by 5, 5, 5 is 25, 2y is greater than 20. 20 and 32, which is our first option here. Right? Moving on. This was the seventh question. Um, ninth question. And what do we have? Eleventh. Eleventh. Let's do eleventh first since we did a calculation mistake here. This was our circle, right? This is radius r. So we know if she travels by this path, she'll have to travel pi r and not 2 pi r but pi r upon 90 minus 4 minutes is equal to uh, 2r by 90, right? So we have pi r minus 9, 9, 36 is equal to 2r, right? Fair enough. So pi minus 2 into r is equal to 360. r is 360 upon 22 by 7 minus 14 into 7. This becomes 8. Right? 8, 4, 2, 8, 5 is a 40, 8, 3, 4 is a 32. 5 is a 40. So 45 into 7. R is 45 into 7, which is 7, 5 is a 35. 3, 1, 5. 3, 1, 5 is our answer. Confirming 45 into 7, 4, 7 is a 28. 3, 1, 5 is our answer. Right. Mm. 16, 22. Okay, let's go to 16, so let's go to 9th, right? Let's go to 9th. So we have, we have 5 minutes remaining time. Uh, amount of work, Tom, Ron, and Harry. Amount of work that they do is in the ratio 2x, 5x, and 3x, right? This is the work they do. Some rules completes x amount of work, y amount of work, fine. So x 
pattern continues fine x is work done by ron and harry in a day which is what ron and harry in a day ron plus harry 8x y is what work done by uh tom and harry in a day tom and harry 5 or 2 plus 3 is 5x and z is work done by tom and ron in a day 5 plus 2 7x this is x y z this is what they follow and this tom does this ron does and this harry does right so we have uh, the shed was built in exactly four days now how long does tom take to uh, work 8x amounts 8x by 2x tom takes four days ron takes how many days 5x by 5x he takes exactly one day now this is 7x done by harry so 7x what uh, 7 by 3 so 7 by 3 days but since it's given that they start working from a new day even if they're done prior to the day so this is close to what 3.33 but 2.33 but we'll consider it three days right let's create a timeline of our work uh come built in 14 days so first four days tom takes does 8x work next one day ron takes does 5x work next three days harry takes does 7x work right then again four one five eight eight days done four more days 8x work uh one more day we have what uh 5x work right we have 5x work so 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have another day of uh, Harry's work. Now, Harry works how much in a day? We have 3x of Harry's work. Harry, Ron, Don, Harry, Ron, Tom. So, they're asking the ratio of work done by Ron to Harry. Ron does how much work? 5x plus 5x, 10x work. Harry does how much? 7x plus 3x. 10x work the ratio of their work done is 1 is to 1 right moving on which ones did we have left 16 let's attempt 16th we have 2000 from money lender we have two minutes left let's quicken it up 10 percent interest compounded annually at the end Rama manages to pay the loan two equal installments one is paid at the end of half year year after the first month that is one and a half year right amount of each installation so uh, assuming half year later what is the compounded interest amount 2100 is the amount that she pays in interest on right this is question number so she pays on 2100 right 10 percent at the end of half a year is 2100 now uh she pays an x installment right now assuming the equal installment is x one and a half year later, her amount that uh, the her principal amount is twenty one hundred minus x, right? So she pays what? She pays twenty one hundred minus x by ten. This is the interest plus the remaining amount, which is this x she paid earlier twenty one hundred minus x she's paying right now, and this is the remaining interest on our remaining amount, which is again equal to what the first installment x because this is when she's paying the entire amount. So taking x there 2x 2100 210 minus x by 10 plus 2100 right 210 what do we have okay i'm just complicating it further let's just do it the easier way 2x is equal to 2100 minus x plus 21000 this is into 10 so we have 20x is equal to 2100 plus 23100 minus x. 21x is equal to 23100. So x is this divided by 21. 21, ones are 21, 22, 23, ones are 21, 1100. So our installment is 1100. what do we have we have 43 seconds left let's see if we have something that we can do we can't do this we're trying first fine let's just try and find something this value is 300 um this is going to be a toughie so we're just going to end it at this point right submit